Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Hey, guys, we are again here with the half anniversary events, and we will be we will be talking about the Gate of Glory and the Follow the Scent against the boss Vega. And if you want to read the story or enjoy the story really, really in a fun way, uh, I will link the last video of Hazings, and you you should check his channel and he was he's covering this very funny he's giving you the narrating with his Scottish accent and giving you his analogy top tier narrating I love it I always wait for him actually to do it and it's really fun now before I talk about Vega and how to uh, first of all I'm gonna give you two teams which can one team will destroy Vega actually and you take zero damage literally zero damage and I'll tell you about it and the second team is the free-to-play team, which you, you you can if you built the unit, but let's be honest, if you're free-to-play, you don't have the resources, so we're gonna go with the traditional team, and I'll show you what I've done and how you can do even better. And before that, I wanna talk about the Bison trick. And this uh, this trick, and we'll say thank you to Don Buka. Also, I will link his Twitch stream. I always go and join him. We have a lot of fun. We enjoy the time. It's absolutely insane how how much fun we enjoy and we 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 have when we go to his stream. We test a lot of things. He's the, mostly the genius behind many strategies in Street Fighter Duel, in combinations and stuff. So shout out to him. So what's the Bison trick? Now the Bison trick, and is, if you want to see here, you saw previously my previous uh, score on my videos that I gave you, and I told you the best teams to go with this. So the previous team was uh, dealing 990 million or something like that. Now I jumped to one more, 100 more million, and this is because we did something, and it's with Bison and the Bison trick. And I will show you my score. Uh, I dropped to top 10. Well, still good. Dropping to 10 or 50. That's amazing, actually. I didn't even push more, I'm just doing the, the three tries and that's it. So if we want to check, check my bison. Is there something different with him? Yes, I'm unequipping the cars from him. You can play two cars on him and that's it. You don't need actually to play three or six cars. And as you see, Fashion Blanca, Bison are having the six out of six. I'm not playing except two cars. You can play only two cars. And why is that? If we go to Bison and check his... 3 out of 6. Return of the Inferno triggers Psycho Absorb. So, Return of the Inferno is the explosion that he does in the end of the battle or in the end of the combo. Twice at the start and then it triggers it because there is an interval. And uh, Or when he gets lethal damage, he explodes, come back, gain a little bit of HP and does the Psycho Absorb, which is his C1. If you go to his C1 and read it, it's the Psycho Absorb. And he hits the one that he ki that killed him with the psycho absorb, and this can a little bit put you behind if you have a combo chain and you're like depending on his C1. In this fight, specifically in this lineup, if you're playing the same lineup that I'm using, or in the future if you want to use any lineup that includes his C1, that's what you need to do because it will trigger his C1. You'll get delayed. You'll end up uh, in the end of the fight not using all your combos or your rotations because. You didn't have the time waiting for him to finish his passive and sometimes it's back to back he explodes does his c1 alone and the boss have the combo meter ready he hits him again kill him again he explodes again and do it and you're staying standing there waiting for the opportunity so when removing this when he explodes he comes back normally he doesn't do his passive so you can rush your combo and use his c1 and continue and this is what i've been doing and actually this is what got me this score with uh, this team, absolutely insane. So I start with Fashion Blanca, uh, Dalsim, Fashion Blanca, then Bison. Then I continue all my rotations with Fashion Blanca, Bison, Fashion Blanca, then Dalsim. And Elena helps me with uh, with her buffs and with her uh, removing the stacks of the Sakura because she put on you Dazzle and you want to remove it. Absolutely amazing team, absolutely genius idea. Thank you Dombuka for that. Now. Uh, we spoke about this, I just wanted to highlight it before I forget, and let's go back to the Vega. Now, Vega, and uh, I said one team which take absolutely zero damage. Why is because of this unit, which is, 
where is she? And I don't have her, so I can't see her uh, exclusive. So I need to go inside here and read her exclusive for you. It's not plus 5, not plus 10, not plus 20, not anything. Just unlocking her exclusive. So you get her to double S, you unlock her exclusive. And then she will have the gains damage immunity for 3 seconds when triggering power dance. Power of dance is her passive. So when you start a combo, she will jump immediately in front of everybody. So let me go here and visually do it because it looks better when you do it visually. So let's say I start with Fashion Blanca or with Viper. She jumps in, in front and Vega, when he starts, he hits her. And if she's immune to damage, she takes zero damage. She takes no debuffs. The bleed will not be on her because she will go back and there's no stacks of bleed. There's nothing. And she will cleanse the team and buff them if you build her to the plus 30. And you will continue your rotation normally. So you hit with Viper. C1 with a Bison, C2 with Fashion Blanca, then C3 with Viper. And by the end, when you finish your combo, and you feel like you check Vega Bar that he's gonna start the combo, you start with uh, Viper, then Summer Elena will jump back and hit Vega, and Vega will hit her, but she's immune for 3 seconds. And 3 seconds is more than enough for Vega. Vega does his super in 2 seconds, and that's it. Maybe 1.5 seconds or something like that. What's the best lineup to play it with? And I know this is not free to play friendly, but if you build them, even if you have Summer Elena at SS and Goken at S plus or SS also, you can play Goken here instead. And why Goken? Because he gives you the shield, the immunity, the survivability, cheating the death. And Viper, when she becomes low HP, let's say she got hit by mistake, she will not die because of Goken, and she will proc her shields on herself. It will give her, give her five stacks of the armor energy, and she will deal massive damage and the rotation you can start it with viper c1 of uh, fashion blanca or c1 of goken uh either c1 or c2 but i prefer to use the c1 of fashion blanca it does massive damage and the c2 of goken because it gives you more shields on your team when you do the super or the c2 so viper fashion blanca goken uh viper and that's it that's it the whole rotation and elena will summer elena will be tanking the damage now for me what lineup did i use and this is the lineup, this is the first one, this is the second one. So, m my hand was on my heart, because when I saw I was rank 4, I was like, oof, thank god, because I didn't want to go rank 3. And I should have ch checked how much damage rank 3 did, so I don't surpass it. And thank god that I whiffed my Virgil EX, so uh, there is no need to use your Virgil EX. As you see, I used it very late and I died, actually, it didn't help me anyway. So the line, and as you see, one, one, one try. I tried it one try. If I push and keep retrying, I'll get high score or, or higher score. But I don't want that. And the reason is because I want the divination tickets. I want the 12 or the 10. It doesn't matter because 10 divination tickets. It means two multis on the jewelry banner with the 50%. As here, it's two multis on the limited banner, which is a little bit shafty and hard to pull on. Uh, that's what we saw. The rates are pretty hard. Uh, if anybody want to go there, use the Goken with Summer Elena, and that it, she needs to be SS. You need to unlock her exclusive, so it works. And uh, if you want to rank just in the top 10, top 50, this is the lineup that will help you and carry you there. So you start with Viper, uh, Street Poison, uh, Fashion Blanca, then Viper. You accumulate three combos. Let's save the replay, and you'll see where I whiffed my uh, my Virgil EX actually. And thank God I did. I didn't want to hit these maybe one last combo will get get me that high score but i didn't want to uh and uh, i accumulate four combo meters and before i start i hit the ex move so i get the buffs on the ex move and then i start with the combo i start with viper then poison uh fashion blanca then viper and as you see here vega goes and hit bison and i start my combo ex move viper three poison fashion blanca then viper and i continue back to back back to back Let's do it to two, uh, x2 speed because I don't want to bore you with this fight. I explained it all. This is how you go. As you see, Viper got hit. She got the energy stacks. This is why she did, dealt massive damage. And then she got hit again. I whiffed, as you see here, Virgil EX by a millisecond. If I continued, I could do her uh, C3. And in the end, I used Fashion Blanca, Sweet Poison, Fashion Blanca, then Bison. And this is how uh, the fight ends. And this is how we accumulated the score.
So if you want to try this team, it's perfect. I recommend you don't score in the top three if you're a casual or free to play. Unless you really want it. If you really want it, you can do that. Mercenaries work here. Unfortunately, nobody gave me anything yet. I'm waiting for Jason to come back from work and I'll try different things. But uh, this is the spot that I need to be. It's the sweetest spot being in the top 10 or top 50 and you get these divination tickets. Speaking about divination tickets, let's go and blow up our divinations. How much I have? 15. Oh, I have summons here. Wait, do I have something in the bag? Yep. Let's check. Do we get something? Aidan, perfect. I'm building him. Now to the summons. Normal summons. Let's do the 10 summons. Hopefully I get any random master or infernal. Anything I would be happy. Let's see. What do we get today? T-Hawk. I'm building him also because I don't have any other fighters to build. So that was it for this summons. Perfect. Now let's go to the divination. And I need two copies of Jury, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't really need them. What I need is the resources and 30k gems, if I'm lucky. So let's go and do the 15. I'll do 20. Either way, I have some diamonds. I can do 20. And here we go. Another Jury. Here we go. One more closer. So one more Jury and she will be one star. Here we go. Can we get back-to-back -back Juries? This is back-to-back -back from the previous one. Nothing. Did we get anything good? Yes, a flame card, and I got the five ch five shards, which is amazing. The last one, or three last one, because I'm gonna do one with diamonds. If it's not jewelry, of course. Oh, look at this! Two A grade invitations. Really, really, really good. The fifty percent is unbelievably good. Let's do another one, and hopefully we get another jewelry. I feel like I got one. No, I didn't. My feelings were wrong. Again, some more good resources, and I can't even say anything about that. Pika successfully got a great T-Hawk. That's uh, not the best announcement that you want to hear. And again, so what we got is one jury, one away from building her to plus one, and that would be amazing. So that was it all for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.